Hello, hello, hello. Alrighty, we have a fast, super good dinner for you tonight. And due to inflation, it's going to be the half a million dollar casserole. Couldn't quite afford the other 500,000, so we're going to go with half a million. So I have one pound of ground beef. Now this is mainly for cooking for two, so if you'd like a family, uh, you know, a large family or whatever, double this recipe up. So it's one pound of lean ground beef, and I'm seasoning it up with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And I'm just going to brown this off. Let me just tell you, when we ate this the other night, we were happy. Both of us. Me and Mrs. Dick. It's so, so tasty. So my meat's about done. I'm just going to chop it up so it's, you know, no big chunks. Then I'm going to drain off the fat and we're on to step two. So just dump your meat in a bowl. And we're going to add your favorite jar of marinara sauce. For me, it's always Prego flavor with meat. There's just something about it that is outstanding. So I'm going to give this a little stir around. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Stir, stir, stir. And this comes together super fast. Because... Um, now in here I have a half a brick of cream cheese, so four ounces. And I nuked it for 15 seconds, and it's super soft. And I'm going to add a little Italian seasoning, and I'm going to hit it again with some onion powder, garlic powder, and just a pinch of salt. Flavor, flavor, all the way through. And this is a half a cup of ricotta cheese. And we're gonna stir that around. Some people think this is like a lasagna, but mm, I don't, because my lasagna is something else. This is really, really good though. And it's cost-effective and affordable, and it comes together so fast you just can't beat it with a stick. Now into my salted boiling water, I'm going to add a regular packet of cheese tortellini. You can use whatever you want. They have sausage, they have all kinds of mushroom. But the, for this recipe, I'm just doing simply cheese tortellini. And the secret is, you cook it for one minute less than the package directions. That's super important. Because they turned out perfect after it was baked. So these only cooked for two minutes. How fast is that? So while I was getting everything else, I had my water on getting boiling. Two minutes later, booyah, this is what we got. Doesn't that look good already? Mm. Now, remember how I always say, if you need to spray something, to make sure you don't forget, put the spray in the vessel and let it sit until it's time. So I'm going to spray this good, and we're going to add half of our meat and tortellini mixture. And then we're going to add all of our uh, cream cheese ricotta mixture right on top. I'm going to dollop it out and then spread it. Is your mouth watering yet? Mine is and I've already eaten it. Now, if you want to double this recipe, use a 9x13 pan and it'll cook up perfect. 
once I get that spread, I'm going to sprinkle a little Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese on top of that. For a little extra, you know, unctuous flavorness. So good. And then we're going to pile on the rest of that meat sauce and tortellini. This has become one of our favorite recipes in this house. Once you get that spread around, we're going to top it with mozzarella cheese. As much as you like or as little as you would like. And yes, I did pick that up off my clean countertop. It's inflation, remember? We don't waste anything. something something I'm gonna put some more of that shredded Parmesan cheese on top we just love the flavor of farm and it goes so good with anything Italian now I have my oven set at 350 degrees I'm gonna cover this baby up in foil and we're gonna bake it covered with Put that baby in there. Good night. Half a million dollar casserole. 20 minutes later. Bam! Let's take that foil off. Now we're going to put it back in the oven. Same, same temp for 10 minutes. And look at this. Thing of beauty. Let's scoop it out, shall we? Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have tons of great recipes. Now you can serve this up with a little side salad and I like garlic bread so that's what we did and we were out of salad so otherwise we would have made it boom glamour shot look pretty have a great day y'all thanks for watching the video